Hey everybody, welcome back to another live stream of Greedfall. Hey Quentin, hey King Obop, good to see you guys. Thank you so much for joining me again. Hey Florisol, always happy to see you here. Uh, I didn't notice this before, and actually I don't see it now, but right when I loaded this game, um, right up there behind the, that city is a mountain peak. I can't see it right now. You can maybe just barely see it at the left-hand corner of the screen, but there's a mountain peak up there. There, you can kind of see a little bit now. It's pretty neat. This is a really, really neat area. Uh, and so many cows here. Well, I guess those aren't cows, are they? These are sheep over here. Are there cows too? I'm not seeing any cows. I think you're, we're hearing sheep over there. Traveling with Siora and Kurt. Or, I'm sorry, not Kurt, Vasco. And uh, one of the reasons we're here is, uh, you know, another Vasco, I want to find my family quest. We're supposed to find this master fur hat, uh, Bastion Darcy's client. Bastion Darcy seems to be Vasco's brother. And this guy seems to be a total screw up. At least that's our first impression of him. Uh, so we're traveling all over this island looking for him. Uh, we're here in, like I said, the Regent of Hikmet, in the city of Hikmet. Hey, Darko. Hey, Elementsor. Thank you so much for joining. Good to see you guys. Yeah, if you get schoolwork to do, King Obob, that's certainly more important than this. And you know I'll post this on my channel later. Uh, so you could check it out later if you don't get to watch it all now. Hey, Jesper, good to see you. Always good to see you. Thanks for joining again. Um, good to see so many people here. I was... Kind of thinking that maybe everybody would either be watching or playing the Wastelanders DLC. Uh, so I'm really glad you guys are here. Lots of question marks up here. And it uh, looks like this is where we're trying to go to find Master Furhat. So um, let's go this way and go on into this city. And um, see what there is to see. Hey Kartik. Haven't seen you here before. Thank you for joining. Hmm, look at this. They've got, uh, oh, whoops. Halt. Your names, titles, and business at hand. Sir de Sardé, emissary of the Congregation of Merchants on Tia Fredi. I have come to present my regards to your governor. Your papers seem to be in order. Welcome to Hikmet, Your Excellency. Okay, welcome to Hikmet. Yeah, yeah, man, fur hat. See, fur hat. <laughs> That's not how you pronounce it. I just like to say fur hat. Um, so they've got these things domesticated isn't that interesting look at that thing i mean aren't those the things that i've been fighting uh if i look in the codex and look at animals i think i think that's an andrig yeah that's an andrig these massive creatures look like buffalo from the continent the natives use the most docile of them to carry heavy loads in the wild, Andrigs can be aggressive and charge if they feel threatened, and their thick skin serves as armor and protects them from magical damage. Hmm, interesting. On the other hand, they are quite sensitive to elemental damage. Well, that's good to know. So we've been fighting these things. I did not know they could be domesticated, and uh, there they are right there, ready to do some work. All right, let's go in here. I guess we're allowed in now. Ooh, can I go in this door? No, I can't. We have discovered the city of Hikmet. Very exciting. I'm going to try every door. Okay, maybe not every door. Come closer. Come closer. Oh. All are in the of Ooh, let's come closer. Speak to her. Your Excellency, welcome. I am honored to receive such a prestigious guest. You will not regret it. My wares are the best in all Hikmet, and always in the Vanguard of Progress. Yeah, you mentioned that. What the heck does on the Vanguard of Progress mean, and why does my face look so weird? <laughs> Looks like I just took a bath in mud. <laughs> yeah, uh, I don't know if we're going to see fights in, in uh, the city of Hikmet, King Obot. Maybe we will. Let us ask her about the origin of her products, shall we? Hey, JDZ, good to see you. Nice to where have you here. Where come from? Most come straight from the continent. That's still where the most refined objects come from, isn't it? But others are also crafted in Hikmet, of course. We have some great workshops here. Uh, because Streetwear is asking, where's Skyrim Yo? 
Uh, I posted um, Wastelanders DLC this morning. Skyrim will be posted uh, later this afternoon. I think uh, 6 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Hey, try hard, Tom. Thanks for joining. <laughs> he says he looks like he's about to ask you to help a settlement. Yeah, he does look a little bit, little bit like Preston, doesn't he? <laughs> Uh, okay, oh, well, now we know about the origin of her products. Do I want to buy any of the, her stuff? I don't know, man. I haven't really looked into this all this much, uh, buying and selling stuff. Uh, I don't know if this is going to be one of those games where I just find a bunch of crap on the ground and pick it up and never have to buy anything. Um, but, I don't know, this is something I've never really cared to do in ga video games, buying stuff. Uh, as far as selling things, I have some stuff that I should probably sell, like this old rusted saber. I don't need this crap. Uh, so let's sell this. Yeah, sell it. This rusty morning star. I don't need that. Old dagger. Goodbye. Uh, worn spiked hammer. Now, this has a little B next to it. I'm not sure what that means. Um... Yeah, JDZ, I, I'm excited to play the Wastelanders DLC. I played an hour of it this morning, and uh, so far, so good. It's off to a good start. Um, if I sell this, I cannot sell this item. I guess maybe... I don't know. I'm not sure... Oh, okay, okay, okay. This is what I'm using as my uh, melee weapon. Okay, I see. Huh, I wonder if I could use this Alchemist Rapier instead. Uh, let me back out of here and switch my weapon and sell that crappy thing I've got. So go in here, go into weaponry, switch to the uh, Alchemist Raper. Can I use it? No, I don't have one-handed blades, so I cannot use it. I probably should have kept one of those things I just sold. Oh well, whatever. Uh, <laughs> Hi, Michelle. Thank you for joining again. Um, would I buy a cat in the game, Kingo Bob? I don't know. If it was like a magical cat, maybe I would buy it. Uh, let's see here. So I'm at a shop here in this little city of Hikmet, and I'm just selling off some crap. Your Excellency, it's always a pleasure. Is there anything you would like? Yes, let me sell some crap. Um, I'm going to go ahead and sell this thing. I can't, I can't wield it anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and sell it. Got to make some gold, right? And then... Rifle with boar ivory decoration. That sounds pretty cool, but I do not have the firearms uh, requirement. Uh, I don't know if my teammates have a firearms requirement or not. Um, so maybe if they could use it, maybe. Let's see. Let's switch over to like Siora, for example. Um, she has one handed blade skill. It doesn't necessarily mean that she can't fire weapons, though. And then Vasco. One-handed blades and guns. So, I don't know how to tell whether this guy can shoot a weapon or not. Uh, it does say one-handed blades and guns, and this thing that I'm carrying is not one-handed. So, yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know. Hey, kitten. Just passing through, can't stay. Oh, no. Gosh, I hope you feel better. Gee whiz. Uh, well, thanks for stopping by. It's always nice to see you. Hello, hey, I'm eating pizza. Pizza sounds pretty good right now, man. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and sell off this thing. It's always just because I don't see myself using it in any time soon. And I need to lighten my load anyway, so let's go ahead and sell that. That might have been a mistake. I don't know. I'm not too worried about it. And then these this junk, I guess I could just sell off this junk, huh? Um, feather taken from the body of a creature, resell it to a merchant. Yeah, let's just sell this stuff. Sell all this, make a little bit of money. Lighten my load a little bit. Okay, all right. Thanks for your visit. Yep, thanks for buying stuff from me. See you later, bye. Kind of, uh, kind of quiet around here at night, huh? Money, money, money. You said it, Flora. Well, this looks like an important building. 
We are at war. I am not certain that I can remain calm if I see such a man. We rarely bow down on our ships. I hope I will not embarrass you. What's this now? Uh, she's saying that she can't go see this governor with us? Uh, well, that's not really why I'm here. I'm looking for Master Furhat. I'm not looking for a governor. Um, but apparently she, her people are at war with the governor of this place. Hmm. Okay. Um, I guess if I did the, if I followed this quest and then I looked at it on the map, we would see, no, this governor isn't here. Oh, okay. So here's the bridge Alliance governor right here. That's who she's talking about. I'm not going to go do that. Let's instead turn around and go back this way. Let's do that. Let's go back to the side quest that I was on. This one here. Follow this quest. Okay. So, yeah. We're not going to go across that bridge. We're going to keep Siora with us and instead go this way. Whoops, I did not mean to do that. <laughs> Put your weapons away, everybody. <laughs> I accidentally clicked on my mouse and got my magic weapons in. And holy cow, suddenly it's daytime. That was fast. It's like as soon as I walked through the ar that arch there, it became dead daytime. That's funny. Uh, let's see here. This sign says, port quarter to the right, governor's research laboratory to the left, and Al Sa'ad city square behind us. Check her out, man. She is just standing there drinking. Hey, what's up, Noble? Greetings. Greetings. I'm way too busy. Sorry. Okay, yeah, you do look busy. I'll let I let you get back to your drinking. Hey, Rufus. Uh, no immediate plans to do a Skyrim live stream, but um, a lot of people are asking for it, so it is something I am considering. It. <laughs> Flora says the music right now doesn't really match the ambiance. Um. I don't think it did when it was gloomy and nighttime, but now that it's sunny, uh, maybe it matches now? Oh gosh, where am I going? Oh, we're going right here. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. This is where we're going to find Master Furhat. Let's go in here and talk to this guy. Oh, it's nice and quiet in here. So, <laughs> again, this is this interior looks a lot like other interiors we've been in, except it's just decorated differently. Uh, the person we need to speak to, I guess, is uh, this alchemist. I don't. I didn't think we came here to speak to an alchemist, but uh, let's talk to him. He's our only lead right now. If you come to do business, you should go upstairs. I am but a poor underling. Oh, okay. Well, you know, um, I really wish you didn't feel that way about yourself. You should be proud of yourself and your accomplishments, Mr. Alchemist. If you come to do business, oh, okay. you should go upstairs. I am but a poor underling. My pep talk didn't work. Quentin's asking if I'm going to do a Fallout 76 DLC live stream. Uh, no, I don't have any plans to do that. Um, I just played the whole game uh, non-live, so I'm just going to continue it non-live. Ooh, bear. Ooh, bear subscribed. Thank you, bear. Here's fur hat right here. His hat doesn't look furry. <laughs> All right, that's a lame joke. Hello, sir. Is this the house of the man called Ferrat? It is I. What can I do for you? We're searching for Mr. Darcy. He was supposed to come here to do business. Yes. Yes, he did come here, but I don't know where he is. To be honest, our exchange did not exactly go as planned. And if you are his associate, or a member of his family, know that you owe me a large sum of money. Hmm. So, well, this Darcy fellow came here to take the shipment, and he was supposed to deliver me a promissory note. Which never arrived, I imagine. How could you let him leave with your merchandise without payment? Well, he's the son of a very well-known family. I did not deem it necessary to try and obtain more guarantees. What if something happened to him? Nothing happened. At least I don't think so. Why should that concern me? I'm not his brother. He owes me money, and I do not have the slightest idea of where he might be. I suspect that you're not telling us everything. Oh, uh, come on. If you have not come to repay his debt, leave me alone so I can work in peace. 
Yeah, I don't think he's telling us everything either. Uh, thanks for subscribing, Rufus K. Thanks, bye. Um, I am streaming on Twitch, YouTube, and Mixer all at the exact same time. And then uh, later today, I post a, kind of a slightly edited version, higher quality version on YouTube of this uh, this live stream. I, I'm recording it locally also. Um, let's see. Hey, King Rat. Uh, there was no Skyrim this morning. This morning I posted a Wastelanders DLC. There'll be a Skyrim later this afternoon, so you haven't missed anything yet. Uh, you know, I totally got the impression that this Furret guy wasn't telling us everything either. Um, I don't know whether speaking to him again is going to help anything, but uh, we're going to try it. I already told you that I do not know where this man is. Leave me alone. Oh, geez. Okay. Oh, wow. He scared my companions behind me. <laughs> uh, well, we're supposed to search his papers. Okay, uh, we're just going to like go rummaging through this guy's crap, I guess. Um, okay, well, uh, pardon me, sir, while I rummage through your papers. Um, that is, if I could find out what papers it is I'm supposed to rummage through. Uh, are they downstairs, maybe? Maybe we need to go talk to his underling? I don't know. Ooh. Greetings. If you have come to do business, head upstairs. If there's any business left to do. Why do you say that? They haven't been paying me, and I've had to work with cheap ingredients for weeks. Hmm, okay. Well, let's ask him about his work before we get down to business. What do you do here, exactly? I create and prepare complex potions. Not simple health potions, but far more subtle things. And if I'm not mistaken, things are not going the way you would want them to. The boss has always been difficult. But ever since he got ripped off, it has been a living hell. I work using leftovers thrown away by all the other alchemists. While listening to him screaming at me and everyone else all day, this is no way to live. <laughs> this is no way to live. <laughs> Rufus, no need to apologize for following right during a dialogue. I love it when people follow. Anytime is great. Um, okay, it cracked me up when this guy said, Oh, I'm left with the ingredients thrown away by all the other alchemists. It sounded like, you know, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer or something, like all the other reindeer are making fun of him. Uh, let's ask him specifically about Bastion Darcy. Have you heard of a man called Bastion Darcy? <sighs> it would be difficult not to. His name is the only thing my boss talks about. Apparently, he did not pay for one of our shipments and still left with the goods. And now my boss makes me work twice as much to compensate for his losses. With ingredients I wouldn't even feed to a pig. And what did your boss do? Well, he spent every waking hour cursing his name. That's how I learned about it. Hmm, okay. Oh, geez. I either can convince him to real what his, reveal what his employer is hiding. I only have a 50% chance of doing that. Or we can leave. Oh, I don't like these odds, man. Gosh, I wish so much I would have put that talent point into charisma. That was a huge mistake, putting it into science instead. No, I'm not going to kill him, King of Pop. Not yet, anyway. How can a brilliant, conscientious alchemist keep working here? I am certain that any great laboratory in town would welcome you with open arms. So why continue protecting your employer? Oh, you're right. Yes. Anywhere is better than here. My boss did not only curse the name of the man you're looking for, he also hired some thugs to find him and our shipment. Interesting. I think we may need to have a few words with your employer. If you could also tell him that I am resigning, then I won't need to go upstairs. <laughs> I won't need to walk up those stairs. Alright, there's a lot of back and forth in this game. A lot. So now we need to go back upstairs and make Mr. Master Fur Hat confess. So let's go upstairs. Uh, but first of all, let's look in these papers here. Letter from one of Master Fur Hat's acquaintances. My friend, I am deeply saddened to hear about the difficulties you are facing as a consequence of your dealings with Bastion Darcy. Man, this guy's got a reputation. I was told that this boy was inconsequential. But I did not think him dishonest. Alas, as you know, if I were to wait for his family to repay you, the wait could prove very long. Correspondence with the continent is quite slow, but there are other solutions. Debt collectors could prove useful. I hope that you will manage to find a solution to this problem. Hmm. I wonder who this was written by. Well, um, 
yeah, there's a piece of paper. Um, it is well known that Bastion Darcy does not pay his bills. All right, let's talk to this guy again. You again. I already told you that I do not know where the man you're searching for is. You may not know where he is, but you did everything you could to find him, didn't you? What do you mean? Does this document ring a bell? You hired some debt collectors to find Mr. Darcy. How dare you rummage through my belongings? You could have taken legal action and retrieved what you were owed, but you sent some killers instead. I doubt the governor would approve. Do you want us to tell him about it? No. But please, understand me. The Darcy family is on the continent. It would take months for them to reply to my complaint. What other solution was there? My shop will not survive this. Tell us who these debt collectors are and we'll take care of it. They loiter in an alleyway of ill repute, not far from here, in the science district. That's what I feared. Probably a bunch of cutthroats. If Bastion survives... If he survives, remind him of what he owes me. <laughs> this guy's like, the Darcy's are on the continent. It would take months for them to pay me. What else was I supposed to do besides send killers after Darcy? Um, okay, well, now we are supposed to find the debt collectors. Apparently they're in the science district. That sounds pretty cool. Does your city have a science district? Sounds like a pretty cool place to visit. Oh, sorry, we never did uh, tell him that this guy's uh, leaving. <laughs> Let's see if we can do that. <laughs> oh, by the way, your alchemist is uh, quitting. Oh, nope, that's the end of our conversations with this guy. Okay, see you later, bye. Okay, back out into the city, look at the map. And we need to go back this way, so around the corner, and back into this other area where we were before again. Hey, John. Good to see you. Thank you so much for joining. Okay, let's see here. Uh, if we go down through here... I'm not really sure how we're going to get back here. It looks kind of messy. Um, oh, apparently we have a house. Really? Hey, Happy West. Thank you so much for subscribing. Awesome. This our day's house. That's interesting. Um, hmm. Is this it right here? Your accommodation as a diplomat... An accommodation is available to you in the main cities of the different nations. Huh, okay. I don't remember seeing one back in uh, New Serene. There you will find a crafting table, a storage chest, and your companions. You can also rest and travel from this place. Cool. Okay, we'll go in there later. I'm in the middle of a quest. Gotta figure out how to get around behind these buildings. Ooh. And the most efficient concoctions, all of Alsard's talent put into bottles. Oh, let's speak to this guy. Greetings. I immediately spotted that you are a real science enthusiast. I have all the potions you could ever dream of, and other things too. We also sell ingredients, and we even craft on demand. So, what would you like? Well, um, I guess I'm going to ask this guy about his business. And yes, we are certainly working in the missile, missing pe people department, aren't we, Florisol? Seems like that's all we do is look for missing people. Hey, thanks for the uh, compliment, John. Glad you're enjoying my work here. I imagine that for an alchemist, this island must be a real paradise. Indeed. Here we have access to more plants than we could ever have imagined on the continent. That being said... We are having a hard time determining the effects of all these new species. We will probably need several years to classify them all. So, in the meantime, we fall back on the ones we do know. Uh, King Obop is asking if I've heard of shouts in uh, Skyrim. Yeah, I've heard of them. Uh, not real sure how to use them yet, but uh, I'm figuring it out. Uh, so we asked him about his business. I don't think we want anything crafted. Let's see what our options are here. You know what? I actually need health potions, don't I? 
That's what I need. I am out of health potions. Here's a health potion. Um, let's see here. Craft. Can I just have him craft it? It'll cost me two uh, things to, to craft it. Craft. Craft health potion. Okay. So I need Hawthorne and Beast Essence to craft health potions. Cool. Wow, and it's going to cost me 40? Why did it say 2 over here? Oh, good grief. These things are expensive. Uh, let's go back. I'm wondering... Uh-huh. Please, come back whenever you want. Uh, I'm wondering now if that's something that I could craft on my own. Uh, since I do have uh, the science uh, talent. John is recommending a game called Thimbleweed Park. Oh, I haven't heard of that. I'll have to... Look into that. That's, that's one I have not heard of. Alright, here we go. Alright, well. There's Kurt hanging out in here. Hey, Kurt, why don't you clean this place up? It's kind of a mess. So we've got a fire here where I guess... Oh, we could sleep by the fire. That's nice. We could travel from here. Uh, we could store stuff here. Here is a workbench. Is this where I make potions? No, this is where I work on... Um, my weapons, it looks like, and maybe even armor. Well, consumables. Okay, maybe I do craft this stuff here. Um, hmm. Health potion. I have none of these. Craft. Here we go. Craft. Okay, <laughs> cool. I'm going to craft my own stinking potions. That guy was going to charge me a lot of money to craft these. I have 12 beasts. Beast essences so I can make 12 potions and by golly, that's what I'm going to do. I still have not checked out Warframe King of Bop. I've been uh, focusing on uh, these other four games that I'm currently playing. Okay, cool. I just made myself 12 health potions and uh, I got an achievement here called Alchemist. That's exciting. I'm excited. Maybe, maybe I'm just excited easily. I don't know. But we need more beast essences if we were to get more potions. And I know just where to get beast essences from the beasts that we saw in the wilderness here. Cool, man. I just saved myself a ton of money. So uh, finally, that science talent paid off because I don't think I would have been able to do that without that science talent. So it paid off there. Yeah, if I ever play uh, uh, Warframe, uh, you'll see it on my channel. It sounds like a cool game, John. I'll uh, I'll look into it. That um, Thimbleweed Park. Okay, we're going this way. Maybe we go through here. Let's try this. Have mercy. Have mercy. I will repay everything. Ooh. I swear. Oh. This is nothing but a horrible misunderstanding. Oh, you guys ready for this? My family is very rich. They will give you everything you want. Please. Yeah, have mercy. Hey, you. Leave this man alone. What do you want? No one asked you for your opinion, so get lost. Maybe he's friends with the weakling. Maybe. In any case, it seems like he wants to share his fate. You think I'm afraid? I've fought uglier people than you. <laughs> Vasco, let me try to take care of this. <laughs> How much money are we talking about? You're here to collect a debt, right? Between what he owes our client and our commission, it's a hefty sum. But if you want to pay in his stead, my lord, please do. Ah, jeez. Well, <laughs> ask them if you could pay later. Can I make it an installment loan? Okay, well, here goes 200 more of my gold, but I may as well take a 50% shot at intimidating them. I don't want to fight them, but I'm going to try to intimidate them and maybe save myself 200 gold pieces. Hey, Connor Connor, nice to see you again. Thank you so much for joining. I don't think you realize who you were dealing with, so let me introduce myself. My name is Desardé. I am the legate of the congregation, and I am here to save the life of one of our citizens. If you do not deliver him to me immediately, I will have no choice but to inform the governor. And you'll end up rotten in jail in no time. Damn it, they look serious. Yes. <laughs> There's a bit too much. Listen, we don't want to get in trouble with the governor, so take him! <laughs> yeah, if our client wants to get repaid, You'll have to make an official request. Come. That was so funny. Thank you for your intervention. I thought these brutes would kill me. Don't mention it. It's only natural. But how did you end up in such a situation? Oh, I'm certain someone like you, who belongs to high society, will understand. 
There is a game table here that is attended by the best of the aristocracy. I lost the money I owed to that merchant while playing there. And since I got out with a few other debts, I had to leave the merchandise as repayment as well. But that's a mere trifle that my father would have paid for without thinking twice. I never would have thought that someone would send these types of brutes after me. What a lack of tact. In any case, I am extremely grateful to you. To whom do I have the honor of speaking? My name is Captain Vasco. Nought and Sea Given. It was a pleasure, sir. Oh, okay. Well, who cares who I am? <laughs> hey, Michael. What's up? Greedfall's pretty cool. It started off slow, but uh, I'm liking it the more I am playing it. It's a pretty cool game. And as you can see, it's a beautiful game. Holy cow, that guy just disappeared, so I guess we're done with that quest. Well, I hope you enjoyed meeting your uh, brother, Vasco. Jeez. Um, that's it. I did not pay his repay his debt, and I'm not about to. He can repay his own debt. Uh, we set him free. This is still showing up as a valid open quest, it looks like to me, so... I'm not sure what the heck it is I'm supposed to do now, but um, there you have it. Kind of a lame ending to that, but it was so funny. They're like, whoa, they look serious. Oh, gosh, I don't want to get in trouble with the governor. So I thought that was funny. And uh, yeah, I don't know why he didn't tell him that he was his brother. I guess uh, they want to stretch out this uh, family reunion thing as long as they can, I guess. Uh, kind of strange. But anyway, that's why we came here. That's why we walked all the way up here. We traveled all across half the freaking island just so that Vasco could say, Oh, it was nice meeting you. So we need to figure out what else to do here on this island. And uh, it's looking like uh, we can go and talk to one of the uh, ambassadors here. Um, or the governors, I mean. It was the Bridge Alliance governor that was here, right? So let's go ahead and follow this quest. There we go. Bridge Alliance Governor. And we'll need to get rid of Ciara. She can't go in there because her people are at war with the Bridge Alliance. All right. So we're going to go back to uh, De Sarday's house. And we're going to switch out Ciara for Kurt. Whoa, uh-oh. My pleasure. But why didn't you tell him who you were? Yeah. But I did tell him. I was stupid. I resented everyone, and you even more, for the life I didn't get to live. You had it all. Everything I thought I was entitled to. But after seeing Bastion, I realized that in the end, I was exactly who I wanted to be. A naught, and a proud one at that. I'm glad to hear it. No more regrets? No more regrets. And I certainly don't regret not being called Leandra Darcy. <laughs> okay, so because his brother was a loser, he has no regrets. <laughs> if his brother was successful, he would still be regretful for that life that he lost. But since his brother sucks, he's totally fine. Hey, Truba Dupa. <laughs> uh, Skyrim episode 18 will be up today at 6 p.m. Central Daylight Time. I'm glad you're looking forward to it. But yeah, this morning I posted the Wastelanders DLC, uh, so Skyrim got moved to the afternoon. So I, di I didn't quite understand that. Did I mean, uh, Desarde specifically asked Vasco, hey, how come you didn't tell him you were his brother? Didn't Did Vasco say I did tell him? Did he say that, or did I mishear that? I don't know. Yes, Central Daylight Time. That's when I post my videos. 6 p.m. Central Daylight Time. That's when uh, the next Skyrim will be up. Well, um, so yeah, I guess we're done with that quest, the family reunion quest. Um, family reunion, and that's it. There's no text here or anything, so I'm not even sure why it has to show us completed quests. So anyway... Uh, let's go back to our place and switch out our companion so that we can go and visit the governor. He did say it, didn't he, Connor? Okay, and you heard it too, Florisol. Okay, so we're all we're all confused together. Okay, great. <laughs> I'm glad I'm not the only one. <laughs> uh, well, Darko says he thought that he said that he didn't tell him. Well, we'll have to go back and watch this recording later and see what he really did say. 
Okay, so I'm gonna talk to Kurt and swap out Ciara. Uh, compose my team, uh, remove Ciara from the team. Instead, we'll add Kurt, confirm the team and quit, and back out the door we go. <laughs> Michelle says, I need black boots with blue and black gloves. Come on, make an effort for fashions. You know what? I, well, I don't know. You don't like that gold? Um, I mean, I'm not saying what you're suggesting would look bad by any means, but the boots and the gloves match my vest type object. I know nothing about fashion. Nothing at all. <laughs> uh, but um, I will keep an eye out for that, Michelle. And if I find some stuff that color, well, by golly, we'll put it on. We'll see what it looks like. Okay, so I believe this is where we're supposed to go. Uh, this is part of our main quest where uh, Constantine, our cousin and governor of New Serene, has asked us to meet the Bridge Alliance governor and ask about the Malachor. Yeah, I wish I had some mobile games to suggest for you, King of Bob, but I don't play any of those. I don't see my vest at all. What is this? I guess you're right. Um, this item of clothing here, I guess it's my shirt, I guess, huh? So yeah, I guess I don't see a vest. Eh. I, I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Okay, oh, it's so quiet in here. So this place looks pretty much exactly like Constantine's place. Uh, speaking of what I'm wearing though, uh, I think that some of the stuff I'm wearing is pretty special. Uh, these goldsmith gloves, uh, they give me a craftsmanship of plus one. So we, I, they've got that going for them. Uh, these old serene gloves here I can't wear because I don't have enough endurance. And those are kind of gray anyway. I don't like that look, I don't think. These old re reinforced gloves, uh, they're kind of muddy looking. And then I have old sturdy gloves. So unfortunately I don't have any blue or black gloves on me. Hey Kartik, I didn't see you join. Welcome, welcome. What do I think about the Evil Within 2? I only played about an hour of it. Uh, it seemed pretty cool, but I just never really had the time to play it. And to be honest with you, I wasn't too crazy about the first one, so I wasn't too um, jazzed about playing the second one. I mean, it looked cool. The one hour of it that I did play did look pretty cool, though. Whoops, what am I doing here? Go back to uh, my dude. And then... Um, oh, good grief. Okay, and then uh, on his boots, I do have a lot of other pairs of boots. I've got some officer boots, which are actually an improvement um, in some ways. And then I've got these soft boots. These are also gray. Uh, so yeah, I'm not seeing anything the color that we're hoping to find. And it looks like the boots come with the pants, Michelle. Look at that. So it's a boots-pants combo. Hmm. Yeah, I, at least this is a package deal. <laughs> Hey, Abraham, good to see you again. I'm doing good. I hope you're doing good, too. All right. Uh, let us go in and speak with this governor. I like the music that plays in here. It's very simple, but it's kind of stately. And I just love the sound of brass instruments. So I, I really like this sound. This music. Check this guy out. Your Excellence. It is an honor to meet you. Allow me to present my sincerest regards in the name of the Congregation of Merchants. And allow me to wish you and your cousin a warm welcome to the island, in the hopes that this visit will help prolong the profitable relations between our two nations. Likewise. Nevertheless, another question brings me. The Malachor. The Prince d'Orsay hopes that these new shores will bring us new possibilities. Even a remedy. It is an area that concerns us greatly, but be assured we are studying it acutely. Our doctors and alchemists are particularly interested in the flora of the isle. It's extremely varied and different from our own. In fact, we have sent a group of explorers into a very promising sector. 
Alas, we've had no news from them for quite some time now. We are hoping that nothing has happened. We would have sent a patrol to investigate, but we cruelly lack the means to do so. The natives have proven aggressive, even hostile to our studies, and have attacked us regularly. We are obligated to maintain all of our able-bodied men here in order to protect the city. But we would be happy to share with you the results of our research if... Your Excellency. This insolent interruption is untimely and unwelcome. I deeply regret, Excellency, but one of our frontier posts has just suffered a brutal attack. Report then and be precise. The natives attacked us by surprise. Our men were massacred. Our frontier post is lost. One more act of barbary. Dismissed, soldier. Where was I? Yes, we would be most pleased to share our discoveries with our allies if your cousin would send us a party to help us find our lost expedition. I could show you to which region they were sent. I thank you for the information and will let him know. If you are of a mind to accord me another request, I would be truly grateful. I'm listening. As you have not failed to observe, our troops, as well as our caravans, have been suffering incessant attacks. The merchants, including your own, are raided, often killed, and certain goods have become scarce. Captain Rainhild, who commands our outpost in the plains, has communicated his incapacity to protect them. Considering that certain of your own fellow countrymen are involved, you would like me to lend a hand? I will see what I can do, Your Excellency. Would you like to speak with me about any other subjects? Well, that was a really weird co uh, conversation before that guy barged in. It almost looked like uh, Desardé here was getting kind of bored of the conversation. He was kind of like moving his head like, get on with it. Didn't it seem that way? <laughs> that was weird. <laughs> a pile of lo loyalty. Uh, this is a game called Greedfall. Um, let's see what's going on over here. Um, oh, thanks for stopping by, Ibrahim. Uh, hope to see you again if you're still there. Um, so th this is, I mean, come on, this has parallels to, you know, when uh, English people uh, came to the new uh, continent and uh, the the native people here did not want them here, so they fought them and tried to get them to go away. Uh, that's exactly what is happening here on this island. The native people don't want these other people coming to their island and taking all their stuff, so you can't blame them for attacking. Uh, now we got to try to figure out some way to resolve this, and I'd like to resolve it peacefully if possible. Uh, so, uh, I'm going to ask him about some other things, because that's what we do. Let's, uh, ask him about, uh, Hikmet, the place where we are standing right now. Could you tell me a little about your city? Hikmet is the oldest city on the island. We began construction of its first buildings 15 years ago, shortly after the discovery of the island. A magnificent city, where the great minds of the time were united in a common goal. Here you could find the best doctors, the greatest engineers, and the most eminent savants. In everyone's eyes, this island has great promise. And Hikmet is the city that allows us to make good on that promise. Who who wrote the subtitles for this? Who spells promise P-O-R-M-E-S-S? -S? They spelled it that way twice. <laughs> uh, let's uh, ask him about the war with Teleme. And what of this conflict with Teleme on Tirfredi? Officially, we are at war, but we have never waged war openly here. Of course, we did not rejoice when they set up camp on the Isle, and we expected the worst. But it seems that their only concern is to convert the natives into believing their ridiculous teachings. They represent no true danger to us. At least, not for the time being. And to be frank, we have plenty of other concerns that demand our attention mm-hmm yeah I don't like this guy uh, I guess it's time for us to take our leave I have to go look forward to seeing you again farewell my lord farewell all right well what does he want us to do well um I guess it's considered a side quest in the name of science 
this quest here, we're supposed to talk to the captain of the outpost. And I've mentioned this before, but I really wish there was a little bit more text over here reminding me where I got this quest and why I'm doing it instead of just talk to the captain of the outpost. I mean, you know. Uh, so we're supposed to, we are supposed to talk to a captain of an outpost who's way over here. Interesting. Right? No, 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 no. Hold on. I did not select the proper quest. I need to go down here. I need to do follow this quest. Then I bring it up on the map. And it's right here uh, in Hick Hikmet. So we don't have far to go. It doesn't look like uh, to speak with this person. Uh, Darko says that I think that Greedfall is made by a French gaming company. Okay, interesting. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Um, I don't know. I mean, I'm not, I'm just surprised at how many typos there are, but yeah, if English isn't their first language, I, sounds like they're, they're spelling a lot of things phonetically. Kartik, um, I have not tried out Days Gone. Is that the PS4 game? Is that one on PS4 or am I thinking of a different game? Oh, I didn't see you were leaving King Obop. Uh, good luck to you, and I hope to see you again. Okay, so... Do I need to rush off and speak with this guy? Is he here in this place? He's at, he's way out here by the gate. Um, so, I don't know. Let's just go on out there and talk to this guy. Get this... Do this quest before I freaking forget about it. Who's this guy? Oh, these are just Alliance citizens. Okay, I thought he had a name. If you, if you don't have a name, I'm not interested in talking to you. Come closer. Come closer. All my wares are in the backyard. Okay, so... This guy's gonna be over here. This is about where I got into a fight before, isn't it? Eh, maybe not exactly around here, but it was outside the gates. That is quite a jaunty feather, isn't it, Michelle? <laughs> uh, here's more of these things. Hopefully they're domesticated so that I don't have to fight them. All right, where the heck is this guy? Huh. Um, well, I thought I was heading in the right dir- Oh, gosh. <laughs> nope, can't go through there. I gotta turn around and go back. Maybe out this way. Connor, uh, I don't know if uh, Fallout 76 is cross-compatible or not. I don't think it is, but I really don't know. Kartik says, yes, that is a PS4 game. So Days Gone, uh, I do have that game. Um, I got it for Christmas, I think, or gosh, maybe for my birthday last year, and I've never even opened it. <laughs> Just never, never had the time. Let's see if I'm going the right way. It looks like I am. There's a question mark up here. Huh. Little, little camp here, maybe. Oh, we could set up camp here if I wanted to. Nah, I'm good. Oh, hey, Benno. Nice to see you again. I didn't see that you joined two streams in a row. Wow, you're in the, you're in South Africa. Holy cow, man. Wow. I mean, it's wow to me. <laughs> I've never been to that continent even. Are you from there? Okay, we need to talk to Captain Reinhild. Uh, my birthday is July 15th, Florisol. Hello, Captain. Your Excellency, what can I do for you? Well, let's talk about the Danea Egg Egg's attacks. Governor Burren has asked me to help you fight against the caravan attacks. Could you tell me precisely what's going on? For weeks we have been harassed by the savages. They're waiting for groups of soldiers or caravans to be out of sight of the outpost and attack with incredible violence. They don't just steal goods or equipment. They kill without mercy. Only one man survived their last attack. He's here in a sorry state. Do you think he could answer a few questions? 
Yes, but take it easy on him. I'll make sure I do, Captain. Well, maybe if you didn't refer to them as savages. Okay, so there's somebody we need to go talk to, this guy down here. Oh, he's standing by this doctor dude. Hey, what's up, surviving merchant? <laughs> Hello there. My name is Desarde. I'm the legate of the congregation. I was informed that your caravan was looted and that you were the sole survivor of the attack. It's true, Your Excellency. It was awful. All those deaths. The violence. We followed the recommended precautions to the letter, but it was useless. Hmm, oh, okay. Um, well, let's ask him about the attackers. No, actually, I want to know about the precautions that they took. You mentioned recommended precautions. Yes. Since attacks occur often, we were given a number of precautions to avoid them. Do not travel at certain times. Do not camp near the road. Do not light any fires. All of it was useless. It would have been better to recruit guards to escort us. Hmm, okay. Well, let's ask him about the goods they lost, I guess. What were you transporting? Mostly food, but also herbs and other ingredients for scientists. Did the attackers take it? Everything was a blur. I don't know if they intended to steal or destroy it. Unfortunately, my companions died while trying to protect our cargo. Are you saying that the looters started by attacking your cargo? Yes, Your Excellency. Maybe more of us would have survived if we'd all fled. Hmm, okay. So you were born and raised in South Africa, Benno. That's neat. Enjoying my Dragon Age playthrough? Awesome, thank you. Yes, I am <laughs> immensely thorough, maybe even annoyingly so. Let's ask him about the attackers. Were there several attackers? I counted five. Maybe six. But others were hiding in the woods. I'm sure of it. If they only had their usual stone weapons, we may have hoped to escape them, but their weapons were inflamed. I have never been so scared in my life. I wonder what would have happened if I still had Siora with me when I talked to these people. Shannon! Wow, thank you so much. Here's to another week of live streaming. Keep it up. Thank you so much, Shannon. Golly. So nice of you. Thank you. Rufus is asking how my job hunting is going. Um, <laughs> I am not doing any job hunting right now. Um, I'm taking this opportunity to focus on uh, YouTube, doing more live streaming, uh, posting more stuff. And uh, believe it or not, I'm working on a Patreon page. Um, I'm in a pretty good situation. My girlfriend's got a job and we have some money in savings, so uh, I can last for a while. And uh, just kind of, you know, seeing where this YouTube thing goes. Although I'm a long, 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 long way from it being uh, something I could do full time. But uh, I'm just, just taking this opportunity, but thank you for asking. Okay, let's ask him about the circumstances of the attack. How did the attack happen? We traveled all day. We were exhausted, and night was approaching. We knew we were not very far from the outpost, but we couldn't go any further. So we camped away from the road, trying to stay out of sight. Alas, it was in vain. That's when they struck, in the middle of the night. Hmm. Based on what you're saying, the attacks were very targeted. They must have a camp near the outpost to monitor the road. But what is their goal? Why attack all the caravans along this route? They must want to cut off the supply lines to Hikmet. We'll go to the scene of the attack. I might find something there to help track these rebels. Rebels? Rebels? What are they rebelling against? This is their land, right? Sheesh. Um... Well, Rufus, I'm actually streaming on Twitch right now as well as YouTube. I stream to Twitch and YouTube and uh, Mixer all at the same time. Uh, but I'm having a lot of trouble getting any traction on Twitch. Uh, very few people uh, join from there. And then Mixer. I don't think anybody's joined on Mixer. But uh, right now, as I stream this, I'm on all three different platforms. Oh, hey, Aiden. I didn't see you join. Hey, I love your videos. You're the best. Thank you so much, Aiden. I love your Fallout series. Thanks for being a fun YouTuber. Thanks for being a viewer. Taking off, Aiden. Or, uh, Kardic. <laughs> Going to sleep now. 
Have a good night. Hope you get some good rest. Thank you so much for joining. Uh, okay, so now what am I doing? I'm supposed to find and examine the location of the attack. And if we look at that on the map, um, it is uh, just down the road here. Um, interestingly enough, it doesn't look like it's a place I have to like travel to. But I tell you, man, I am really curious to know uh, what would happen if Sioro is with me. So I think I'm gonna go back to this camp Remember we walked by that um, that f that smoke, and it said that uh, we could set up a camp. Maybe I could set up a camp there, and maybe I could swap out Kurt for Siora, or Vasco for Siora, and just take her with me because I'm really curious to see how she's going to respond to all this. Yeah, Rufus, I think that you know since I have this YouTube channel with uh, you know fairly sizable subscriber base that. You know, naturally, people would um, watch on YouTube. And I mean, that's fine. I I'm not sure if really there's an advantage to streaming on Twitch over YouTube. Campsites. You have discovered a campsite. Its location is now marked on your map. You can travel from here or be transferred to here directly from the travel interface. Here you can summon and manage your companions. You can use your chest as well as the workshop. You can rest and accelerate the passage of time near the fire. Okay, well, now I know how to accelerate the passage of time. Uh, remember a couple episodes ago, I wanted to do exactly that. I'm glad you're subbed, Aiden. Awesome. Uh, let's see here. Let us gather the companions. And I want to compose my team. And we're going to leave Vasco behind now. And uh, add Siora. Confirm the team. And let's take Siora with us. I just want to see what happens. <laughs> I'm just curious about this. Um, hmm. So King Rat says I had been using Twitch, but with all the restream taking up chat, a lot of my comments didn't receive replies. Um, from me or from other people? Because uh, I just see your comment as anything else. Uh, it only says Restream Bot when it gets sent to another service. Huh. Michelle says uh, she'll only watch on YouTube. No, don't be sorry about that. That's fine. I I'm not planning on leaving uh, st or stopping streaming on YouTube. Let's see what happens if we talk to her with Siora with us. I'm going to actually do an F5 before I do this, just in case something terrible happens. Hello, Captain. Your Excellency, what can I do for you? Mm, well, you can leave. Oh, no, I guess I could leave. Uh, how to describe Greedfall, Aiden? Um, I must go. Goodbye, Captain. Goodbye, Your Excellency. That is something I am not good at doing. Uh, if you look at my Greedfall videos uh, that I already have on YouTube, there's a description of the game uh, underneath of those videos. Okay, we're gonna go out here to the location of the attack. And again, I'm hoping Sierra will have something, some insight for us. Is it over here? Oh, we may need to fight some animals here. Uh, I could go through here or I could go around this way. I don't, gosh, are these guys gonna attack me? These look different than the ones that I came across before. No, I think these are gonna be Okay, I don't think these guys will attack me. Oh, okay, they're just gonna run away from me. Huh, that's funny. <laughs> you post just the right amount, King Rat. <laughs> oh, here's something for me to uh, loot over here. All right, got me some Hawthorne. That's good Hawthorne we use to make health. The music's changing a little bit out here. Huh. The caravan was some distance from the road when it was attacked. Okay, the caravan was some distance from the road when it was attacked. Okay, this whole area is a place I'm supposed to investigate. And in the meantime, we could collect more Hawthorne here. I love this little bit of music that's playing now. It sounds like something bad's going to happen. To me, it does anyway.
Very quiet, except for that ominous music. Let's see if there's anything up here. Oh, 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 here's something on this tree. Ooh, what's this? Oh, like some, um... Oh, Inonota something and some hoof fungus. Okay. Oh, oh, that's, uh, that creature would fight us if we got close to that one. Oh, we'll, we'll come back to him. I want to make sure I explore this place. Ooh, look at that magnificent creature. <laughs> yeah, uh, I, I like, uh, I hear what you're saying, Michelle, uh, want to fight to break up the monotony of the dialogue. Sometimes there's a lot of dialogue in this game, so it's nice to, oh my, <laughs> how was that? <laughs> oh, there's, it looks like I could set up another camp out here. Wow, okay. But yeah, sometimes it's nice to have a little fight to have some, um, excitement. Oh man, you finished Doom Eternal, Rufus? I want to play that. Well, let's set up camp again, just to simply mark it on the map. That's the only reason I did that. Um, yeah, oh, we set up a camp there, and it looks like... Wait a minute, which way am I facing? If I go back this way... I don't know, let's see where this goes. Another item to loot here. Oh wow, this this could go on for a while, it looks like. Yeah, look at that. We could climb up that. See what's back there. And we'll do a little bit of exploring here. See what we come across. Get some nightshade berries. Wow, how far does this go? Hmm, quite a ways. Well, I don't want to get too far away. Uh, again, I want to go back here and do this uh, quest because otherwise I will forget about it. I won't forget about the quest because it's listed on my quest list, but I will forget why I need to do it. So it's best if I just go ahead and do it. We could come back and explore that a little bit later. Okay, here we go. We're going to have to fight this thing, though. You guys ready? Ready for a fight against this thing? Uh, it looks like he might be by himself. If he is, this shouldn't be too much trouble. This is a Dontrigal. This is new. <laughs> love that my companions tell me what to do. Oh, there goes uh, Sierra flying. Oh, 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 one came up behind me. Did you see that? Okay, we killed one of them. Oh gosh, I'm a hurting. Gotta take me a potion. Okay, got my health back. She's wounded. She needs help. All right, get in there. So she said she needs help. Where is she? Oh, she's back up again. Okay, she just needed help temporarily. This is kind of fun. Oh, that looked like it hurt. Hit him in the butt. Oh, he kicked me. Did you see that? <laughs> oh, geez. Got to take some help. So she needs help. Help. Am I, can I help her? Uh, doesn't look like it. Or maybe I can in um, my tactics menu, but he's almost dead. Nice. All right. Good fight. Ooh, and I leveled up. Good fight, team. Good fight. Uh, am I done with the fight? Why do I still have my magic out? Put your magic away, dude. There must be another enemy around here still, because my characters are on the ground. Uh, actions. Interesting. Potions. Do I need to give a potion to my peeps? Um, I don't know. How do I heal my, my buddies? I don't know, man. I mean, if I use a potion, does that also cure my my companions? Let's see. Even though I don't need one, I'm going to take one. Oh, crap. I just wasted it. So that did not help my companions at all, unfortunately. Well, let's take this guy on. Luckily, he's already hurt a little bit. Haha, you missed me. 
he missed me again. Ha ha ha. Oh, I'm out of magic. Are you just gonna stand there? He's just gonna stand there. He's like, I yield. Finish me off. Okay, there we go. How oh, nice of you guys to join me. Jeez. Um. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> uh, see, she's not dead, Flora. I guess she was just tired. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what to do when my companions are on the ground like that. I don't. I don't know how to give them a potion. I don't know how to heal them. No idea. Uh. Okay, we got some more beast essence. Oh, Rufus asked what city I'm living in. I am in Austin, Texas. Been here for about 15 years now. Uh, looks like you guys are talking about Bloodborne. That was a cool game, right? And uh, Benno, yeah, I had trouble with the Cleric Beast also. A lot of trouble with him. Uh, intact hearts, Beast Essence, Leather, take everything. I mean, we kill these things. It would be a shame to uh, just leave their goodies here. We killed three of them though, didn't we? I think the other one's over here. Alright. Okay, well there you go. There's a little bit of fighting there. That was exciting, right? I was excited. We are still supposed to be exploring the location or examining the location of this attack. Here we are. Stay alert. Here we are. Stay alert. Hmm. I mean, are we going to get attacked by natives with Siora here with us? I don't know, man. Let's see. Yes, thanks to King Rat. King Rat is the one who uh, bought me this game as a gift on Steam. So, thanks to him, we're able to play this. Uh, let's see, let's examine this, if I could get turned around properly. The crates are empty. Their entire contents have been destroyed. These goods were not meant to reach their destination. Hmm, so they didn't take the stuff, they just destroyed it. The food has been destroyed. They clearly don't need it, which means that their camp should be close by. Oh, good deduction skills there, detective. They must have died protecting their goods. How sad. These wounds appear to be caused by stone blades. The kind of weapons that islanders use. They acted quickly, methodically, and then left. But where are the bodies? Let's look around. Okay, I'm supposed to find the rebels. Why do they keep calling them rebels? If we look on our map... Uh, they're gonna be over here, <laughs> where we just were. Uh, let's go back here anyway. Looks like there's something for us to loot. Looks like a good place for an ambush, doesn't it? Oh, what did I just say? What are these things? Vampire Dawson Tats? I'm sure I pronounced that wrong. Can't see crap. I'm out of magic. I've been hit. Luckily they don't hit too hard. What was that move? Oh! Oh! Okay. Hello, Rich Toto 316 Didn't see you join there. So, crap, I died. When was the last freaking time I saved, man? Good grief. <laughs> when was the last time I saved? Oh my gosh, such a long time ago. Uh, died protecting their oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness. Okay, oh, good. Sad. These wounds appear to be caused by stone blades. The kind of weapons that islanders use. They acted quickly, methodically, and then left. But where are the bodies? Let's look around. Yeah, there's a little uh, bit of the Witcher in here, don't you think, Florisol? Uh, Benno uh, Sekiro was an awesome game. I never finished it. It was so hard. The final boss was so hard that I never beat him. <laughs> to this day, I have not finished it. Uh, Connor's asking if I have all the Skyrim DLCs. I, I believe I do. I'm playing Skyrim uh, Special Edition, and I think it has all of the um, DLCs in it. 
So we're going to get attacked by these things again. And apparently there's a, a big one in here. That's uh, going to give us grief. Okay, are they going to attack or not? They're not going to attack again? Okay. They're going to attack on the way out? The, the game is already having pity on me. Okay. I'm kind of disappointed. I wanted to fight him again, man. I'm going to try that again. Um, Let's see here. Oh, crouch. Somewhere I could get to the codex and see what those things were we just fought. Well, they're not here. Oh, they, yeah, that's right. They don't exist because I, I faced them before I died. <laughs> so, uh, okay. Um, let's see here. Yeah, I'm kind of disappointed they didn't attack again. Let's walk in here again. Maybe they'll attack us at this time. Hello, I'm here. Attack me. Oh, well, they're not going to attack. I'm sure we'll see them again at some point. So, we are now going to find the rebels. Go around here, go through this way. Ooh, what did I just do? Okay, let's do that. What book are we talking about? I didn't see... Uh, is King Rat the name of a novel? Oh, sorry, didn't mean to wake you. All right, are we getting close? Yeah, right up here, we're, there's going to be more to, uh, more for us to examine. Oh, but we have to uh, fight these things first. Ooh. Oh, there's one of those furry things over there. Uh, do they fight each other? I mean, those are two different types of creatures over there, aren't they? I think they are. Whoa. Oh, it was just that thing making noise. Oh, oh gosh, there's a lot of them in here, man. Well, let's fight. Oh, 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 okay, they de-aggroed. So I can't back that far away, otherwise... We lose aggro. Okay, one of them dead. Boy, these things die easily. Hey, look out! Look at these. They're all all dead almost already. I'm not gonna drink a potion. What? There's something in his pocket. Man, I got eyes on the back of my head. Uh, King Rat by James Clavell. I've never heard of it, Michelle. Hm. Well, I'm always looking for stuff to read. Although I'm currently reading The Stand, if you can believe that. How about the timing of that? I started reading it before this whole coronavirus thing. Oh, wait, before I look at the body. I want to look at this. Give me some hoof fungus. Okay, let's um, pick something up from this body here. Unfinished letter from a merchant to his family. My dear, I'm afraid this trip will be my last. We were very cautious. We even ate cold food every night because lighting a fire was too dangerous. And yet, I feel as if we are being observed and I am afraid they might attack us from one moment to dot dot dot. I'm sure he put the dot 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 there. He was in the caravan, but whoever attacked him decided to drag him here and feed him to the wild beasts. The Donea Ectragal do this as a sort of scare tactic. This is a message for other merchants. Mm-hmm. Okay, well good. I'm glad I brought her with us, because only she would have known that, right? <laughs> Uh, Clavel's books are that good, huh? Excellent. 
Uh, Rufus, yes, I have had a barbecue from Franklin's, not at Franklin's. I've had it catered a couple times, and it is as good as everybody says it is. It is very, very good. Even, I'm not even keep kidding, even reheated the next day, still the best barbecue I've ever had. It was, it was very, very good. So now we are supposed to find the rebels. That is what we are supposed to do. And I guess it's the wind howling through these trees that sounds kind of almost like whispering, kind of? Don't you think? Connor, thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you enjoy the Wastelanders video. And uh, Aiden's asking me if I'm going to do face cam. I have no plans to do that. Just not my style. Uh, I kind of prefer it this way. Well, uh, Connor is not the only one who is leaving. I need to end this episode here. Uh, seems like a good spot. Uh, next time when we come back, uh, we will look for the rebels, as they're called, up here. Give us an excuse to explore this area. Uh, see, tomorrow's Wednesday, so at 1 p.m. Central Daylight Time tomorrow, uh, I will continue right here from where we're leaving off. And I hope that all of you can join me again. And thank you so much for those of you who did join me today. Always so nice to see you. Always nice chatting with you, and it's always cool seeing you guys chat amongst yourselves. It's very cool. It's like a community or something. It's awesome. Thank you guys so much for joining me. <laughs> I'll see you all tomorrow. Take care, everybody.